Paul. You know, I think most Americans don't uh, disparage or dislike people who accumulate wealth. We're, we're fine if people honestly accumulate wealth. So if you ask Americans, um, Sam Walton developed this great store and sold inexpensive things and became very wealthy. Most Americans don't think that he's a terrible person or he somehow abused the system. Uh, I don't think Americans have the same big, warm, fuzzy feeling for Big Pharma. Um, I think many of us perceive that they use their economic might to manipulate the system to maximize profit. So it's not like they're selling a cheaper product to more people. They're using government to maximize their profits. Do you acknowledge that the current system, under the current system, Big Pharma uses their economic clout to manipulate the patent system to increase drug prices? So there, there are clearly abuses, Senator, in the system, and that's why one of the one of the steps that I mentioned to Senator Murray that I believe we have to go after is is the gaming of that. I have always believed we have the Hatch Waxman regime. It gives innovators a time period to sell the product, but then there should be a moment certain when Katie bar the door. There should be full generic competition, and that is a gift to this country, to the system, and to, and to patients when they walk in the pharmacy. But I will say this is a huge problem that's been going on for decades. We've had insulin since the 20s. We have, uh, you know, been 50, 60 years or more with the production of insulin by pharmaceutical companies, and we have no generics. So everybody says they're going to fix it, and they're nonspecific, but I, I, I tend to be a doubter because these problems go on and on and on. Uh, when you look at... Um, the drug problem, one of the things that people proposed is to allow us to buy drugs from Europe, allow us to buy drugs from Canada, allow us to buy drugs from Mexico or Australia. In fact, this was the president's position when he said allowing consumers access to imported safe and dependable drugs from overseas will bring more options to consumers. We've had legislation on this. We've passed it several times, and yet it never happens. Uh, you've taken a position against reimportation. How does that jive with the president's position? I have before publicly stated a position against unsafe importation of drugs into the United States, and the president has said the same, reliable and safe. Do you that think is the, the drugs first thing in Europe we have are to unsafe? Do. The drugs that they use in the European Union are unsafe? So we, we have had a succession of Democratic and Republican FDA commissioners who have been unable to certify under the law that, that, been that, wrong any, that importation would be safe. They've been wrong and beholden to the drug companies, frankly. You would have to sit there and say, that the European Union has unsafe drugs and it would be unsafe for Americans to buy drugs from the European Union or from Canada or Australia. It's just frankly not true. It's a canard and it's been going on year after year after year and we have this enormous problem and people say we're going to fix the drug problem and it never happens. But what I think is important for America to know, this isn't capitalism. Walmart is capitalism. Bill Gates was capitalism. Big Pharma, it's not really Big Pharma's fault even. They're just trying to maximize their profit by using government, but we're letting them do it. We have this terrible system. So you get an EpiPen, you have it for 20 years, you manipulate one little thing in the spring, and all of a sudden they get another five years, and then another five years. So one of the things we could do that would dramatically change this is, if you have a patent on the EpiPen for 20 years, you get it. If you change it and make it better, you get a patent on the new EpiPen, but guess what? We can have generics on the old. Currently, you can't have that. And we have all these impediments. Why don't we have generic insulin? But it's going to take someone who really believes it. And I told you in my office, you've got some convincing to make me believe that you're going to represent the American people and not Big Pharma. And I know that's insulting, and I don't mean it to be, because I'm sure you're an honest and upright person. But we all have our doubts, because Big Pharma manipulates the system to keep prices high. It is not capitalism, and it's big government, and we've got to fix it. We can't tepidly go at it. We have to really fix it, and I, you need to convince those of us who are skeptical that you'll be part of fixing it and won't be beholden to Big Pharma. Well, Senator, as, as I said in the office with you yesterday, um, that, that issue of the multiple filing of patents to evergreen a product with a, a, a modification, say, on manufacturing process or delivery device, I, I completely agree with you. I think that's one of the important avenues that we ought to be pursuing because, again, there should be a time certain when competition begins with generics, and you shouldn't be able to simply make a change there and evergreen your patent. I, I fought against that, that in the Bush that. administration. One thing in my last few seconds. On the drug reimportation, we're going to give you a question that you can think about and write. So everybody says it's not safe. What I want you to tell me is why the drugs are not safe in the European Union and how you'd make it safe. If, you, if there's a restriction that says, oh, we have to go through one committee, I'm fine with that. Vote on a committee for the European drugs as they come through. It needs to be expedited. It needs to be happening. Everybody just says it's not safe, and so we never do it. 
That's BS, and the American people think it's BS that you can't buy drugs from Europe or from Canada or Mexico or other places. Could we have some rules? Yes. We just keep, we always just say it's unsafe. And so you're going to have to convince me that you're at least open to the idea the president is. That was his position in the campaign. If you're open to it and, we'll, and not just say it's unsafe, we'll say this is how I would do it and this is how I would import, re-import drugs and make it safe. That's an honest reform. If you can't do that, I can't support you. So I hope you will come back with an answer that says this is how I'd make reimportation safe. Thank you.